Well, hello everybody and welcome to the Language Center live sessions today. My name is Everett Campos and I'm gonna be talking to you today about some interesting apps and sites to improve your English. Um, I'm here with the Language Center Director, Monica Lucia Gomez, who's also going to recommend some useful apps and sites today. Hello, Everett. It's nice to, to share this space with you. And we are very glad to have this audience today. As you say, we are going to talk about the very interesting topics for anyone who wants to practice or improve their English uh, level, right? Yes. So, uh, Evert, what do you think is the, the, the most favorite app for people who want to practice their English in this moment? Um, I would say probably Wushu or Duolingo are probably some, most certainly some of the most famous, famous apps students yeah. say or in general use these days. What do you think? Yes, du Duolingo is very popular and it's very enjoying and very funny. And, but today we have very interesting uh, apps to present and we are going to present our top five, right? Language teachers recommend these uh, five apps. So let's yes. start. Everybody. Okay, so let's start. So I'm gonna start um, sharing uh, with you guys our number five app today. And this app is called Memrise. I, I'm very fond of this app because um, at first sight, it may look just like an app to learn vocabulary, but actually the app is based on a three-step approach. So the first step is like learning real words in like real life or phrases in real life. So it's fun. And the second step on the app is, is immersing oneself in the context of the words. And finally, the um, third step is as you go in the app and you participate and you compete, um, you gain experience and you gain confidence to talk. So this app is gonna help you uh, build up your vocabulary. There's also a competition with yourself and you get points and you can also track your progress. You set the pace. If you don't have time every day, you can do it every other day. It depends on your level. And what's most interesting about the app is Sometimes we face some concepts or words that are kind of hard to recall. So you can add images and create your own meme. That's why it's called Memrise, so that you memorize the word through a meme that you create yourself. So I think, I think it's yes. pretty cool. I, I like it. I like that's it a lot. A, that's a really good app. Yes, I really like the fact that there are many speakers uh, expressing their in, in authentic language, no? That's that's a very good point. Yes, I think, I mm -hmm. think it brings like real life scenarios and it's also quite easy to um to navigate. I'm gonna show you how how the app like looks like and so you won't be like to so get familiar with it. So let's say this is an example of let's say me I'm on like level one and I want to practice advanced English. So you see, I haven't learned any words so far. So it said zero words, but since I'm, I started already participating, so I already have some points. And also what's really good is like, if you get good at this, you can create your own lesson. So you can also contribute to other people's learning. So let's say this, um, this session was created by C Zavadan OL. O-L-A-H, H, so this is a user, so he created a, the advanced English C1 and C2 um, uh, course, and that's the one that I'm kind of like um, doing now. And if you see on the on the right, on your right, you can see your score with um, regards to other people's score around the globe. So it's pretty cool, check it out, and it's gonna absolutely help you learn um, vocabulary. All right. Excellent. Monica, what about you? What app would you like to uh, recommend to us? All right, so let's go with number four. Do you enjoy watching TV series, Eva? Yes, pretty much that's what I have been doing during quarantine. <laughs> All right, so this is a perfect app or a site for you. This is not an app, this is a site. Learn English with TV series, right? Oh, wow. and I really recommend it, I really like it. For example, do you remember Friends? 
Oh yes, I love Friends. I'm watching Friends again. All the all the. Season. All right, good. Okay, so you can learn English with Friends, for example. There you will you will encounter authentic language, right? Uh, funny episodes, so you can uh, learn and uh, enjoy in what you are doing. Uh, learn and enjoy, right? So what what you find here is there is a short episode, and they are going to you are going to watch the video with captions in English, right? And after that, they are going to explain some language, grammar, or vocabulary, and uh, some idioms or slang, right? So that you don't miss any part from the episode. So you can understand the jokes and everything that is happening in this episode. Wow. Uh, for example, very interesting. yes, that's really interesting. Uh, I have an example here. Yes, he is expressing that she's mad because. Uh, I know today is her laundry day, so the, the words in blue are the ones that they are explaining later. And here they have an example. Laundry day refers to the day of the week when we you would normally choose to do laundry, right? And okay. so on, they continue uh, uh, explaining. And it's really fun because there are lots of expressions you can learn from this, from this uh, site. What do you think, Kevin? Have you ever tried? I have never tried this one, but I most certainly will give it a go with my students in my classes next time. Yeah, I'm I'm a Friends fan, and also like I have been catching up with several other shows, so I think yes. it would be really good, would really cool to use the shows while learning or while teaching English. That would be really cool. Right. Yes. Yeah. So I'm sure everybody will enjoy too much uh, learning with this with this site and improving their fluency and practicing vocabulary and learning new expressions. All right, Ever. let's see what do you have for number three. Okay, number three is probably one of my absolute favorite apps or sites. This is, um, this one you can find it in both, both as an app as a site. Personally, I use the site a lot in my classes and this app is going to help you improve your listening and understanding of what you hear. Mm -hmm. um, as a teacher, I realized that listening is probably one of the skills where students struggle the most. So Voice Screen is the perfect app for you to improve your listening. I love this app and some of our um, UPB community that's uh, with us right now probably recognize this app because I use it in my classes, in all of my classes. What I really like about this app is that it's focused in authentic language and kind of like what you just um, shared about on um, learning English with uh, movies. This app also, use, also uses movie excerpts for us to understand and practice our listening. There is a wide variety of videos from like documentaries, movies, even just songs or debates, any type of video that um, that might be available online, we can find it in this app. It's easy to customize. You don't have to, and you can do it at your own level and pace. And I'll explain that in a second. With this app, you not only practice listening, but also grammar, and it's also going to contribute to your academic writing. So I'm going to show you. That is a very complete app. Yes, yes. Like, I think for university students, I think this app is a very good tool to um, boost their listening and understanding and overall understanding of the language. Okay, tell us a little more about it, Ever. Good, yes, yeah. so like this is, if you're playing um, this app on your phone, this is what it's gonna look like. So if you see, if you are like a, if you're a movie fan, you will um, recognize this is a track scene you can activate captions or just um, listen to it without captions. That's up to you. After you hear, you have 20 seconds to choose a sentence which based paraphrases what the video says. So that's also mm -hmm. gonna help you understand. And it's like, um, it's, you're also practicing paraphrasing, which is monumental in writing. Oh, um, nice. You get a score, so you can keep track of your score. This is yes. another example. This is just a lady singing. So this is not even a part of a movie. It's just a homemade video that the app has. And if you 
um, if you choose the, the phrase that based the sentence, sorry, that best paraphrases what the video said, then it's gonna be green or it's gonna go red if you fail, but it's fun. Um, I'm gonna show you now how you navigate the app and, uh, and the app. So this is my score, for instance, okay. if I would like to play it. Yes, you are an excellent player. Yeah, I play, I play a lot, I really like it. Uh -huh. And this is how it looks like on uh, as the site on your computer. I recommend it more in the computer. For me, it's more comfortable, but I'm sure our students are, uh, they are on their phones all day. So hope maybe for them, it's more, uh, it's like more comfortable to use it on their phones. But as you see, it's exactly the same as I was yes. just telling you. But this time it's a cartoon. I don't choose the videos. The app just shows random videos from movies or documentaries. What do you think about this app so far, Monica? I think, I think this is great. This is a very complete app. And uh, it, is, it is so funny, no? Because there are extracts from different movies and maybe TV series also, no? Is that movies ever? Yeah, also TV movies. series and uh -huh. you know, like TED Air and TED documentaries or talk, TED oh, Talk. Okay. And our yes. students are pretty familiar with it. And what is most interesting, I'm going to tell you what the most interesting aspect of this app is right now. Oh, so this okay. is how you navigate it. So you have like VO step, VO structure, VO rhythm, or VO kit. So yes. if you are an absolute beginner, you can choose by level. So let's say, okay, um, I might be an elementary um, student of English, but I'm going to start from the beginning. So I'll start from the beginner level. And the app will show random videos. Or you can, if you are like, okay, my my teacher at university, we are studying and in class, we're studying imperatives. But I'm having, I'm having a hard time understanding imperatives. So I can choose by a grammar structure as well. Okay. Or and anyway, students can practice independently. They don't need a teacher to do it. That's exactly. Mm -hmm. And even if at the beginning it's at the beginning it's too hard for me then i can choose by rhythm so i can choose videos from one to three words or four to okay. six and then i can build up from that and so i choose according to my level and my experience like independently how to start oh, and okay. if i have younger brothers or sisters or even a younger um cousin i can also Involve them in get them involved in this app yes. by playing in VO Kids. It's right. really cool. I really like this. Yes, yes. I I think students will love it when they try it. Yes. Yeah. All right. Good. So it is time for our number two. Do you All like right. music ever? What I kind of music do you like? I listen to pretty much anything and everything on Spotify. I oh. listen to music since I wake up. So. Uh -huh. <laughs> All right, and there are many people like you, and these days we have, some people have lots of, of time to entertain, to relax, and to listen to music. So this app is perfect for music fans, right? And it is Sounder. Learn languages with your favorite music. It Great, sounds, no? It sounds cool. Yeah, it sounds great. Uh, Sounder includes not only English, but you can also practice any other language. There are seven languages you can practice in Sounder. Portuguese, French, Italian, right? So you will love it. Let's see how it works. You choose a song, yes, you choose a song, and you create your profile. You create your profile and you choose your level, your English level. You decide where to start. And then you start Completing the song, uh, the song, as you see in the in the screen, there is some uh, there are some spaces, and there are some options to complete the the song, right? So you oh, listen wow. and choose what is the right option, right? This is the first part, mm -hmm. and uh, you you can choose your favorite songs because there are there is a very long playlist there. Then you create your profile and start playing, learning, and winning coins. This is All right. in, in this. Uh, this is similar to Duolingo, where you can get coins and bonuses depending on your performance. No, 
So people are going to be pretty, um, this is gonna be really easy to use for students because I guess everybody's familiar with Duolingo. Yes, yes, they, they will get familiar uh, in, in, in very easily because this is very similar. But what I, what I like uh, from this app is that you can practice vocabulary and pronunciation with a lesson for each song, right? So yeah. after you finish with this uh, audio and listening to the song and filling in the spaces, you will find a vocabulary lesson, right? Where you will understand what is the song about, what is the message. Is this, it is really fun, it is really entertaining. Have you ever tried a, uh, an app like this ever? No, I've done some lyrics training, which is similar, but I've never done something. I think I'm going to download it and start using it. I, I like the fact that I create my own um, lesson with the music that I like. I yes, choose. that's perfect yeah. because you decide from the very beginning of the process, what do you want to listen to and how do you want to do it, right? And yeah, this is great. Yeah. In that's why to students so that they can decide yes. what to yes that's why this is our number two up oh, yeah. today and i think everybody is very curious about number one in this moment no yeah so let's okay. talk about our top one okay the top one of our ranking is hello talk and i'm gonna tell you why this is our top one app to improve your English language. So HelloTalk is an app that basically helps you connect with native speakers. But as a native speaker yourself, you also have to help other people learn Spanish. There are a lot, there is a wide variety of languages you can choose from. Of course, like I recommend you guys to start with English. And it's really um, user-friendly because the layout of your profile, it looks similar to um, Instagram, and I'm sure most of us are in Instagram users, so we know that how it, it works. You, you follow, you get follow, and you you follow people, so you can also keep track of your followers, and you can post content in Spanish to help those people that are interested in learning your native language, and you get more followers, and you can also, of course, follow people and catch up with the content. It's really cool. As soon as you create your profile, you get a list of people um, that are native speakers of English to whom you can connect. You can make the first move or you can start or you can just wait if you're shy for them to make them the first move. They will eventually. And they are most likely going to write or text you in Spanish because they want to improve their Spanish. And of course, you can like make a deal and let's say today I will speak in Spanish because I'm gonna help somebody from Denmark or Switzerland improve their Spanish. And then tomorrow we will speak in um, English because it is my turn. You can also make calls, video calls. It's pretty, pretty cool. Yes, I really like this app. It. It's great for our students. I think they love it because it is very easy and it's a win to win, no? Everybody yeah. wins using this app. Yes, I think it's a win-win. That that's a perfect way to to put it. And I think the what it's most um, relevant on this app is that you practice real conversation because yes. it's in the conversation. All right. There I is no think, excuse to talk to native speakers now. Mm -hmm. Yes, and I don't think you need to have like an advanced English level to do it because I think you you can practice communications even if you are a student at the beginning level. So this is more or less what your profile is. Yes. Uh -huh. Yeah, I have a profile. And like, yeah, this is what your profile looked like. But, so you see, it just it looks very similar to, to Instagram. You follow, you get followed, and you post content so that people follow you and you help people um, learn. I'm really fond of this, this app. I am a user. I absolutely love this um this app and oh. i think the way we we did our top five today monica kind of helped students build the language from vocabulary and memorize yes. and practice their grammar with uh, learning with movies and then their listening 
to yes. a conversation with Hello Top. <laughs> yes, uh huh. So let's review what we have today, Ever. Yeah, tell us. You tell Number us. Number five, we have memorize, right? Yes. Number five options. Students can build their vocabulary and all that, yeah. right? Then we have learn English with TV series. Yeah, the authentic can... language, funny episodes, having exactly. fun and learn. And that's exactly. great. Exactly. No? And, and they can see the words in context that they are improving. And then. Yes. And then we have the, your favorite. Yeah, that's why my favorite. Both screen. Yes. So, uh -huh. And they learn, they practice um, listening, and they, they also put into practice what they learn to memorize and learn English with TV series. This is like a whole learn yourself. It's very, yes, very co comprehensive. Okay, then we have for music fans, Sounder. I really like Sounder. That I one really, looks yes. really interesting. I think I'm uh -huh. definitely going to check that one out. To enjoy and uh, learn uh, English, enjoying your favorite music. That's great. And our number one is... Okay. Yeah, hello. Hello, talk. Talk. hello yeah. talk. Yes, talking to native speakers uh, very easily in any moment. That's great. Yeah, okay. that is great. Yes. This this top five. Well, hopefully, this is of good use for our UPB community uh -huh. and non-community that are with us today or will, will watch our the video. Hopefully, they yes. give it a go. They give it a try. And if they have been using Duolingo and they might be a little bit tired of that, so they can to use explore, it. not to explore new possibilities, they can practice explore, and learn. Uh -huh. More of right. them, these new options. Okay, so uh, the limits of my language are the limits of my world. No, that's very interesting. So uh, thank you very much for being with us today. We will be in this live, uh, Facebook Live, uh, every two weeks. Our next uh, uh, Facebook Live will be on September the 25th. Oh. On Fridays at 4 p.m. ever. Okay, so you can invite your students, your friends to join us uh, every two weeks in, in Facebook and YouTube. All right? We will be uh, talking about different topics that the community is interested in and if you have any suggestions, any any topic that you would like to to see in this uh, in this live, you can write it in the chat. Okay, we will right. be attentive to to take into account your suggestions and to give you a very very nice uh, section every uh, two Fridays. Right. Thank you for the invite. It was really cool for me being All here. Right. Thank you to everybody that's with us today, and hopefully. They will be again in two weeks on September 25th. Yes. Don't forget, people, so you can mark it on your calendars so that uh -huh. you be like you can get like updated on on the different um, subjects that the language center has yes. for you all. And remember, change do learn. Be with us uh, at the language center. All right, and follow us in, in, in our social networks in Instagram, in, in Facebook. We have different yeah. sections every day. We are there in, in, in the social networks. Thank okay. you very much. Bye bye, Ever. Bye bye, Monica. Thank you so much. Okay, right. Bye.